G'day guys and welcome to another Project Orion Astro Imaging session and tonight we're going to be capturing the Red Horse Head Nebula so this is panel number 56 um, for me although even though it sounds like panel 56 I haven't shot 56 panels this is only my third panel so you can see just how big this mosaic is going to be with the twin rasses and how much time and effort I'm putting into it so I really hope these guys appreciate um, the videos and the way style that I uh, want to present these videos I want to try and take these guys on the journey and uh, how many nights I spend just imaging just one panel and the data I collect um, to then go towards the mosaic which is looking pretty good if you haven't seen my other two videos go check them out one of them is of the uh, um, Orion Nebula itself and the, uh, the other one is just below the Orion Nebula. So this one here has been the third panel is uh, just off side of um, the bottom panel. So we'll see how that joins up. Fingers crossed it all goes to plan. Anyway, for those that haven't watched uh, one of my videos before, I'll just give you a bit of an idea on what's going on here with this setup. I run twin Celestron Rasa 8 telescopes on my Celestron CGX mount, um, CGXL mount, and the mount handles the twins beautifully, not a problem at all. On top we've got a Prima Loose Lab um, Eagle 4 computer. Now this is the base version of Eagle 4 computer. You can get the um, Pro version which has got a, a better um, CPU and a bigger hard drive and I think it's got more RAM as well which after using this for I'd have to say probably just over six months um, I really do think to get the the larger, the, the bigger version, and I guess the reason I'm just sort of saying that is because I'm running twin, um, twin brasses with twin cameras and, and everything else like that. So having that bit of extra um, computer power uh, would certainly help. If you're just, I guess, running just the one um, unit and you know you want to access everything Wi-Fi and all that, it's it's pretty good. It does the trick. I mean, I'm I'm running it, and I really I don't have too many uh, hassles with it, so that's really good. Um, the cameras are the WASI 294 MC and MM. Now on the MM I run a uh, um, Astronomic Max FR6 NM filter and uh, on the um, colour version I run the uh, Astronomic UVIR L1 um, cut filter on there. The, uh, I've got the uh, Q QHY53485 as my guy cam. Um, it's probably overkill to be honest with you using it as a as a guide cam um the reason i i have that camera is because sometime in the future i would like to do some planetary imaging so um yeah that's why i've got that so i don't have to go buy another camera um later on down the track and my guide scope's a william optics uni guide um 120 mm uh on the back i run twin the WO um, focus motors. Now I am thinking about switching one of these focus motors back to the Celestron um, version or maybe going to a Prima Loose um, lab uh, focus motor. Now the reason for that is purely for connectivity. Uh, every time I connect up the uh, the RASs in Nina I have to actually tell which COM port the focus motor is going to go to. Um, otherwise if I don't they both connect up to the same COM port. So you could imagine what focusing can be like. Um, it can be a bit, a bit tricky and a bit funny because all of a sudden I've got two focus motors thinking it's adjusting the focus on one rasa um, when this rasa here is completely getting blown out. So uh, yeah, it's it's a, it's a bit uh, annoying when I forget to do that. But um, yeah, it's only a, a minor thing. Anyway, uh, let's just hope these uh, these clouds clear up a little bit. I hope I get about four hours um, worth of imaging time tonight. Fingers crossed, we'll see what happens there. But uh, yeah, I hope these guys enjoy the first night of Astro Imaging, panel 56 of my Orion Mosaic. It's a bit of a mouthful. And the Red Horse at Nebula. Thanks, guys. Enjoy.
So last night, after uh, throwing out some of the data that I didn't like, I captured roughly about five hours, just under five hours worth of data. So I'm really happy with that, and that's per rasa. So I got close to uh, you know close to ten hours worth of data in, in total when you look at HA and then RGB. Um, so tonight I'm hoping to do about the same again because every panel I'm looking at roughly about 10 hours worth of RGB and 10 hours worth of uh, HA. So that's about 20 hours all up worth of imaging time in one panel. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed we can get another uh, really good night of imaging. There, uh, I did fix one thing and that was my polar alignment um, uh, tracking PhD2 tracking. For a little while there, I was having a few issues. Whenever it would do a meridian flip, it wouldn't quite automate the meridian flip properly because when I would go to guide again, um, I had the issues of it completely trailing off. Well, I thought it was an issue with Nina 2.0, but it's not, it was an issue with me. <laughs> and that was, I forgot to calibrate my meridian flip in PhD. So, after I remember doing that, I remember to do that, and then I have done that. Last night just went so smoothly, and I got um, yeah, a really good amount of data in. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed tonight, uh, the exact same thing happens. And I'm really excited, because if we get a good, um, good amount of uh, data tonight, then that's my image finished. That's the third panel of my Project Orion completed and we are in the early stages of uh, January so I've been quite lucky to have uh, some clear nights like again tonight two nights in a row so um, yeah if I can get you know roughly two to three nights of imaging per panel um, I'll be very very happy and as things progress and I get more familiar with Nina 2.0 and how to set up the sequences um, we should get uh, should get more data um, again throughout a, a night session. So uh, overall, I'd hope to um, uh, spend two nights on one frame, averaging about ten hours um, per uh, per rasa overall data acquisition. So yeah, I'm rambling. Um, so let's just wait for it to get uh, get darker, and uh, we'll uh, finish off hopefully our. Uh, third panel, so the horse head nebula um, image for the uh, Orion mosaic.